as artists, as producers, as whatever, if you're in the media industry, I feel like you should take creativity from everything that you do. Like everything should inspire you in, in, in a sense, you know, like when you go for a walk, you should feel inspired from that walk. When you do something else, you should feel inspired from that. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Vlog. Today I've got a very special episode featuring Pressure K, a producer all the way from Hong Kong. Pressure K has been producing for about five years now, so he had a lot of great insight to share with other independent artists trying to do the same thing. If you're an independent artist, you absolutely do not want to miss out on this interview. He dropped a lot of great gems throughout it, and without further ado, let's get to the interview. All right. Pressure K, how are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing all right. A little bit of uh, technical issues in yeah, the first yeah, 10 I mean, minutes, but... <laughs> we made it now. We made it now. I mean, we made it. We made it. I'm, I'm very, yeah. very happy to have you on as the first artist um, for the vlog. Um, honored mm. to have you on here to be able to interview and ask you some questions. Yeah. Um, I won't waste any time. I'll get I'll get straight into it. Um, nice. So, you know, as, as an underground artist, uh, what is the biggest challenge for you? Uh, money. Money. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not money. Um, um, I think just managing, like managing, managing the stuff that you make, and then after that, you have to manage like artwork, distribution. Like you're you're pretty much your own team when it comes yeah. to like an independent artist. It's the freedom is nice, you know, like the fact that you can kind of like do whatever you want without like going through the whole like hey can i do this can i post this uh blah 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 like instead of chasing up on people it's it's up to you but i feel like that independence can also be viewed as a bad thing so like if if you're lazy as can i cuss on this like is this okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Go uh, okay cool cool Wait, so yeah. so basically if if you're lazy as fuck like it, it becomes a bit of a problem where like you don't get anything done because it, ultimately it, it's all it's all on you that that kind of thing you know like you're your own management i feel like that is like the biggest challenge yeah yeah i guess being being yeah. a one-man team right trying to do everything yourself yeah yeah pr pretty yeah. much yeah oh, good answer I, I i agree as well i can i can relate mm. with that um what's what's something what's something that gets you into the creative mood do you have like some sort of ritual you do before you make music or anything like that as artists as producers as whatever if you're in the media industry i feel like you should take creativity from everything that you do like everything should inspire you in, in in a sense you know like when you go for a walk you should feel inspired from that walk when you do something else you should feel inspired from that i i have this method when i start producing music where i've developed over time which is produce and delete so right. what what i mean by that is that if you spend like a whole day producing a song if, if by the end of the day you're not happy with it or if you're like oh it'll, it'll be good if i change this it'll be good if i change that i just end up deleting it uh just because i i obsess over like tiny details and stuff like that mm -hmm. so the thing is the more you obsess the worse the track becomes because mm -hmm. uh, i mean after that after you change everything and stuff like that it doesn't really resonate with like the original idea that you had so it kind of becomes this like it becomes a chore basically where you're like oh i have to finish the song because i started it and it's been like two months and i really need to you know whatever you end it up, becomes a chore up, and uh, yeah you end up trying to fix something rather than create something exactly exactly and it, that kind of ruins the whole flow of like writing a song or producing a song so like if i'm not feeling it it's just just delete it that, don't that, think that, i have a ritual but yeah that, that's good time management though you know you're not mm -hmm. really wasting too much time on a project and you're just moving on to the next thing um that's yeah it, it also prevents you from like burning out yeah you know because that that happens like quite a bit to artists and producers and stuff like that yeah. so like when you when you're careful of where you put your creative energy, it kind of gets a bit like better where it's like, is it worth my time fixing the song or is it better just to delete it and start over and find a better idea for it? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. No, great. All right. Uh, next question. Is there something you wish you knew before starting your independent music journey? 
Well, I've only been producing for like four or five years, mm -hmm. but I think one thing that I wish I knew is, I think similar to what I said before, where it's like, try your best, but don't obsess, you know? I mean, if you try your best, it will be better than just obsessing over like, oh man, like this would have been much better if I could do this. This would have been much better if I could do that. I mean, you're going to get there eventually, mm -hmm. but if you just keep obsessing over like one tiny detail, it 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 kind of hinders your your way to like improve your music. Yeah. Like I you think, know, as I as think, you keep going. I think I think a lot of I think a lot of artists, uh, and, and you know, perhaps a lot of people watching this probably needed to hear that you know i think a lot of artists <laughs> playing and they do they obsess too much over the little things you know yep. and waste their time when you know they could be learning you know more and more just by creating more and more rather than mm. fixing up whatever whatever they made you know and it, it's really it really is about the end product that's like oh, oh right that that sounds that sounds good you know and i think again you know just try your best just don't obsess over the whole like oh it would be better if this was cleaner um but also anything that you release right now, a year from now, you're going to think that it's shit. Like that's kind of just how it goes because you improve over yeah. time, you know? So yeah. I absolutely agree with that. All right. Um, th this, this is uh, one, of the, one of the last questions. And hmm. it's, uh, do you think there's currently enough opportunities for independent artists to network with each other? Um, and have you uh, had much success being able to you know, network with other independent artists, either locally or globally? I think, yes. I mean, social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's one of one of the biggest like tools right now where you can actually just reach out to people that you don't know or might not know you. If you want to work with someone really, I mean, it's easy to reach out, just DM or, I mean, most artists and producers out there will, even if their accounts are private or whatever, they'll have like an email or you can check out like SoundCloud, blah, 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 you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, I can keep going on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there are also websites like uh, Sound Better, uh, Fiverr as well, I think, you know, where you can kind of reach out to artists of a more like professional level if you need like a vocalist, you want to collab with someone or if you just want someone to play like, hey, I don't play guitar, but can you play like this riff or can you play like the solo or something like that? And you that's, can kind of just actually really smart. Yeah. I never, I never thought yeah. of actually going <laughs> onto Fiverr or freelance or anything yeah. to try get, uh, you know, to try network and try get a verse or a hook or you know some drums or yeah some vocals or something on, on something. That, that's that's a that's a good that's a good little hack. Yeah, <laughs> I, I will say I feel like because it's so easy to kind of reach out to people. Like I think more and more artists and producers are beginning to be a bit more selective of who they who they work with you know i mean because it's kind of easy i mean like i think you and i are like the best examples of this where it's like i made a shitty remix for like one of waleed's tracks and then we connected and after that it's like hey i have a beat do you want to hop in on this yeah. and then it just happened like you know like there's no there's no like in between where it's like oh you know like get a contract out we need to meet in person we need to do this it's just like you did your Actually, own thing and i did my own yeah. thing and i think i mean that that's like it's easy is what i'm trying to say yeah yeah you know yeah all right awesome yeah yeah, yeah cool all right um uh, what well, this is the this is the second to last question now and yeah. it's who or what has had the biggest influence on your music career? <sighs> Man, you really don't a tough one on me. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I'll answer like the who bit first, I guess. I, um, I guess like, I mean, if, if we're talking like production, there's this group that is currently now like disbanded. They're called uh, Bad Royale. And they produce like they produce trap music, uh, EDM, et cetera, et cetera, all, all that types of stuff. Um, I feel like if anyone like listens to their stuff and then listens to mine, they can kind of see the connection where it's like, oh, you are definitely influenced from them. Um, aside from like the reggae part, you know, because they they have this whole like, you know, major laser, reggae, EDM, trap, bouncy type thing, you know. Um, 
they definitely have has like the biggest influence like on my productions. I I think their productions are super clean. It's super like I, I don't know how they think about. All, all, whatever it is that they do, you know. I think for them, like they definitely has have like the biggest influence. Um, so this is this is the last question before my yep. little challenge for you. I did warn you, yeah. I had crap a challenge for you. But this is yep. this is the last question. I mean, to be honest, this question in itself is a little bit of a challenge too. If you think yep. about it. But here's the question, final question: Would you rather drown a puppy or never make music again? Uh, I I think I would rather never make music again. Really, you don't think you could drown? Are you are you just saying that because you're being recorded right now? No, dude. <laughs> um, okay, like here here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, th- there are times where I wish I didn't like get into a music career because right. it's okay. it's it's fucking stressful, you know. And I mean, if I could do that. Pick another career and save a puppy. I mean, that, that's like that's like a no brainer, <laughs> you know. Interesting, interesting. That's, I mean, that, that's a pretty good pretty good reason for your answer. I can't I can't really debate that. Um, okay, now you've you've got a little challenge uh, now that you've got to do. Uh, it's very simple. Shit. I'll explain it to you first, um, and you'll have. I'll, I'll give you two attempts. I'm going to give every single person that I interview two attempts at doing this just in case you know someone fumbles on one uh and they want to yeah it's very quick um so basically what the challenge is is you have to say the alphabet as fast as you possibly can a to z not backwards or anything i'm not going to make it super hard and i will start timing it on my phone as soon as you say a and as soon as you say z i'll stop recording it right so i'll i'll give you i'll give you like five six seconds or i'll give you a little bit of time to to prepare and then give me give me maybe like a thumbs up when you're when you're ready to go uh man it doesn't help because i stutter i i stutter a lot <laughs> just right there right there <laughs> <if> I <can. laughs> I, I, because you, you have to be focused maybe maybe it'll help maybe it'll help uh do i just have to say it or do i have to sing the song because i don't think i can no, do no, no 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 you don't you don't have to sing it so the idea is to say it as fast as you possibly can so you can you can just be like episode like I mean as long as it's audible you know don't just mumble the whole thing don't just like little body the whole thing just try try, <laughs> try, try and make it audible. <laughs> okay, so A B C D E F G H O J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Woo! That was that was quick, man. That was quick. How, that was, what, what was the time? What was the time? What was two point eight six seconds? Nice, that nice, nice. Six seconds, and that's on your first try. I'll give you, I'll give you one more try. <laughs> I feel like one. if you interview like a uh, like a rapper, he mm. he or she can probably do it in like a second. Yeah, I yeah, like. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. For, for, <laughs> those, for those, you know, just just a reminder that that Pressure K here is not a rapper. <laughs> he's, not a, you know, he's a producer. So this this challenge is definitely unfair for the producers and engineers that I'm gonna interview. But um, it it is what it is. Life's life's unfair. Yeah, fair. Fair, 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 fair. That's true. That's true. I think you should take one second off on on the time, just because I'm not a rapper. Once you think to, you think a yeah. rapper could say it in 1.86 seconds? No way. I don't. There's no way I could say it in under two seconds. I don't think so. I don't know. I I feel like they pro. Someone will maybe, be able maybe, to. Maybe I feel my like my timing was a little wrong. Like obviously, when I when I do anything, <laughs> I'll make sure that the timing is correct. I might be a little bit off, but like still, it. it that was really quick. That was honestly really quick. cool. All right, <laughs> cool, cool. second attempt. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, that was quicker. That was. That <laughs> oh was, shit! Nice. That Woo! was two point five four seconds that time. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was that was good. Hopefully, you know, hopefully these numbers match up although if these numbers don't match up post edit it, it's gonna show everyone how fucking slow my reaction time is so <laughs> I to hope- be fair to be fair we're like countries away I yeah mean, you're yes, yeah you're you're literally like a fucking what eight hour flight away from me right yeah, now well, at least like four yeah. five thousand kilometers away so yeah yeah quite a bit yeah, yeah. yeah. well <laughs> 
Thank you very much, man. It was absolutely yeah, all fantastic. good. All good. Having yeah. you here. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Doing this? No, no, it was my mm. pleasure. Um, it was mm. great getting into the head of Pressure K for a little bit, and you know, sharing some of your knowledge with uh, with the rest of the with the rest of the independent artists that are that are out there. All right. All right, man. Cool. Peace out. What's Prada? What's Dolce and Gabbana? What's Fendi? Givenchy and Balenciaga? What's Gucci? What's Prada? What's Dolce and Gabbana? What's Louis? Givenchy and Balenciaga?